Welcome back everyone. In today's video we are going to practice some of the questions um, given on your screen and we will be uh, doing it together so that we understand how different numbers can be um, you know valued at different places. Alright so let's start. First part of the worksheet tells us that we have to identify whether the special number that is given over here that is 60,812 is whether an odd number or, or an even number. If we clo look closely and we memorize what um, even numbers are, so I'm going to write over here even numbers and odd numbers just to remind ourselves what even and odd numbers are, right? So even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? Or 12 and so on. Likewise, odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. Odd numbers are the numbers that cannot be divided by any other number. It is only divisible by itself. For example, 3 cannot be divided by any other number but itself. So that is called the odd number. In this question, they are asking whether 60,812 is an odd number or, or an even number. So we'll look at each of these digits and we see that all of the digits appear in which section? That is, it's in the even number section. So we will call this number as even number. All right. moving on to the next part of the worksheet that is we have to identify the value of the digit 2 so we have to find what is the value of the digit 2 given over here we have done place value in the previous video so we all know that the number 2 is at which place it's at 1's place right and next is what is the value of the digit 1 that is it's at tens place so we will write it as 10 okay 8 is at hundreds place so we write over here 100 or 800 right 0 0 is at thousands place so we'll write it as 1000 and 6 is at 6 is at 10,000th place so we'll write it at 10,000 all right that is tdh moving on to the next part of the worksheet that is fill in the empty boxes on the number line all right remember we have already done pattern and we have learn how to find a pattern of the number so over here we can see 60,812 and then after two boxes it becomes 5 if you observe it closely you can see it is only increasing by one number that is at one's place only one number is being added right so we'll write it this number as 60,813. Likewise, we are going to write over here 60,814. And then comes 60,815. But what about the boxes that are behind this number? That means the number is decreasing. So we, are, we will say that uh, it's going to be in the pattern of minus. One. So we'll write this number as 60,811 and mm, if we subtract 1 from this it becomes 60,810. Alright, so this uh, is how you identify the patterns and solve the um, question using the place values as well. So now what we have to do is we have to write the number in expanded form this is the number that we have to write in an expanded form and we have practiced a lot earlier so let's do it that is 60,812 so that means 60,000 
over here at the next place it's thousand and we can see that the thousand has a zero over here so we write zero nothing else and just for your understanding you can put four zeros because it's at the fourth digits place that is at thousands place next we are going to write over here is 800 because 8 is at hundreds place likewise we are going to write 10 over here because 1 is at tens place all right and if we look at the next thing that is we have 2 as well now what we have learned in this example is that if there is a 0 you don't need to mention it over here. I just did it so that you can understand how to, um, you know, do it and it in expanded form. All right. So for now, I'm going to erase this part again. And since we have understand this thing, that zeros do not need to be mentioned. So we are going to write it again. 60,000. We're not going to mention zero. We'll write over here 800, 10, and 2. Remember this value. Always remember this value. All right? Do not miss it if you are going to write this number again in the standard form. All right? 2, 1, 8. We don't have a place at 10, so we write it at 60. All right. Okay. Moving on to the next, that is compare greater and smaller. So 61,810, is it greater than 60,000? Remember, we have to look at this using the place value. 10,000 is always going to be the biggest. Remember that. So if we see that there is a 61,000 here and 60,000 here, that automatically indicates that the number with the 61,000 is the bigger number. Next, we have 60,812 and 60,812. That means these both numbers are equal. So we'll put equal sign over here. Second is 60,812 and over here we have 60,212. 18. 60 and 60 are similar so we move on to the next place value that is 8 and over here it's 2 which number is smaller definitely the number 2 is smaller so we're going to write over here that the number that is 60812 is actually the bigger number moving on to the next example that is 62800 and 2 and this is 60,812 so we will look from 10,000 place and we can see that 60,000 is the smaller one and 62,000 is bigger one so we'll put this sign over here the next part the next this part the left part I want you guys to practice this at home and we'll discuss the answers later in the next video